Joining us now is Dino DiCarlo. He is a 2016 MRS Outstanding Young Investigator recipient. Congratulations, Dino. Thanks so much. It yeah. is an outstanding honor. Can you tell us when you learned about this and, and how it feels? Yeah, a few months ago I was actually traveling and got a call on my cell phone and uh, you know, Christy Anseth, the president, uh, told me what's up and I was uh, ecstatic. I would imagine this is this is a, re a reflection on on all the work that you have put in, correct? Yeah, I mean I, I've gotten into doing work in materials a little bit later than than, than some folks, but but mm -hmm. uh, I, I, we've we've uh, been able to do a lot, and and the team has has really uh, done a lot of uh, really I think interesting work in the in the last uh, five years or so that that's mm -hmm. being recognized. I Great, great. You, um, I, I'm just going to read quickly here your uh, award citation um, for pioneering methods to manufacture, measure, and manipulate microstructured materials and applying these innovations to biomedical problems. So, if you can just kind of, uh, yeah, give that's us a the, lot. Right? That, that's a lot right there. So, kind of fo focus in on what what this yeah. means. So, I think the the, the key. Point is that uh, biology operates really at that micro scale, at the cellular level. Mm -hmm. And so we've been working on how do you make materials that can interface with biology and measure biology. So, so an example would be a, a tool to measure the mechanical properties or how squishy a cell is and using that to diagnose disease. Oh, okay. Another example would be uh, structured or porous materials that allow tissue to grow within it and kind of form a hybrid uh, material mm -hmm. that's tissue and synthetic. Got it, got it. And are you going to be speak? because you were speaking at this spring meeting. That's correct, yeah. Uh, and your, your talk is titled Microstructured Materials for Cell Analysis and Regeneration. So I would imagine you're going to be speaking on what you just told yeah, us about. Yeah, so, so one, of, one of the areas would, would be these materials that allow for tissue to regenerate and, and accelerate healing uh, based on the, the microstructure that, uh, that, that underlies the material. Uh, and another area would, would be uh, how we're using uh, structured magnetic materials to uh, uh, amplify forces so that we can separate cells based on, on their properties. Oh, uh, really? Based on uh, surface properties that, that co connect to magnetic um, labeling. T t tell us more about that. That that is the, so separating the cells. Yeah, yeah. So so what we would like, uh, what you know, th th there's there's interest. For example, where there's a lot of new work in, in cellular therapies. So mm -hmm. therapies um, that use one's own cells that are engineered to have, let's say, a target targeted moiety to target cancer, and you want to isolate the cells that have high levels of this. Uh, this moiety or this, this uh, targeting receptor. Mm -hmm. uh, and so separating those out in a very simple way uh, is advantageous. And we've been using uh, these microstructured magnetic materials to amplify forces so that you can do that uh, much faster and in a, in a quantitative way. In this, in this work, this specific work you're talking about, where, where can we see, uh, is that five years down the road? Is that 10 years down the road? Or are we, are we talking sooner than that? I think sooner than that, I mean, I think the, these uh, separation techniques uh, will help uh, get these, te these uh, therapies to, mm -hmm. to actually be uh, financially viable therapies for a majority of, of patients rather than right now that they're very expensive to make because we, we don't have the tools to separate out the really high quality cells and we're growing up and spending lots of, of money to grow up large quantities of cells that are not effective therapeutically. Sure. So, um, so as these therapies are they're coming out and becoming uh, FDA approved, I think we'll see the, these technologies uh, underlying uh, uh, you know, development of these therapies. Th that is wonderful work, uh, Dino. A great job. And once again, congratulations on, on, on this award. Uh, just quickly, tell us about you got in town uh, midweek here this spring yeah. meeting from UCLA. Yes. Um, Talk about the MRS Society. You said you got involved a little later. Yeah, I yeah. So I'm, I've been really happy uh, because you know this is this is one of my actually like second meetings, and yeah. so um, I've been uh, you know, pleasantly surprised by how welcoming and how uh, cohesive and, and interesting in many different areas of, of uh, overlap with what we do, and so I'm excited to become more involved. Well, Dino DiCarlo, once again, congratulations on being uh, 2016 MRS Outstanding Young Investigator. Thanks we so much. We appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your stay. Thank you. Yep.